Hey guys, in this video, we are going to learn what is set data type in Python and what is the differences between the set data type, the list data type, the tuple data type. Okay, everything, if you watch only the single video, you will be pretty clear about all of these things. Myself Rakesh and welcome back to my channel, Automate with Rakesh. Please do subscribe to the channel guys and to stay up to date, please hit on the notification icon so that you get to know the moment I upload a new video onto my channel. So let's get started and understand set. So first thing before we understand set, if I ask you what is a collection? Collection means what? If you create a variable and inside the variable, if you, you know, assign multiple values to a single variable, this would, would be termed as a collection. The word collection is clear. Collection means what? A single variable holding multiple values. So in Python, there are different types of collections. So till now, what we are focusing is list kind of a list kind of a data type, which is a collection. The other is a tuple, which is a collection. And the third one is a set is a collection. And the other one is a dictionary also. So right now we will just stick on to this list, tuple, set and try to understand the difference. So these are the different types of collections. Now, if I ask you, hey, can you create a list variable in Python and show me? and assign some values and show me. So what you do, you give it a variable and then for list, I'll be using a square bracket. And I told you in my previous video to remember that list will always use a square bracket. I have to remember the alphabet L. If you put a bar on the top of L, it appears like a square, right? So L will be your memory reference. It's just for your memory references to remember it for a long time. So here I will use a square bracket for a list kind of a variable. Okay, and I have declared a list variable. If I ask you, hey, can you create a tuple variable? Again, what you do? You create a variable name. And for tuple, I said you, you have to remember the P, P for parenthesis, okay? The P, what you have to remember? P for parenthesis, so I will use a parenthesis. And same thing, I'm going to assign few values. Clear? So this will become a tuple data type. If I ask you, how do you create a set type of data variable in Python? So you give it a name, a variable name. And for set, you have to use a curly braces. For curly braces, you have to remember the S alphabet. If you look at the S, if you try to make it slightly, you know, modify it in your imagination, it will more appear like a curly. If you, I mean, not exactly, but again, S will be your memory reference. Okay, S. So curly braces. So curly braces, if you write, this will become a, set kind of a data type. Now the biggest question that will appear in the mind. Now I am confused. So what is the difference out of all this, right? That is the question that would come. Okay. Let me tell you. So how do you remember the difference between these three data types is the biggest question that one would have. So to understand the difference, let me ask you a few questions. Does a list allow you to have duplicate values? This is one of the property, right? So a list would allow you, you can have duplicate values written inside a list, right? So similar with a couple of other properties I'm going to mention and then we will experiment. Does it allow you to add a new value? Yes. Does it allow you to add a, uh, or remove a new value, uh, remove a value from a list or a collection? Okay. The next property would be uh, duplicate value, add, remove, and, and the next, uh, next would be uh, does it allow you to put it in order? Can I uh, uh, place a value from here to there, right? Does it allow? And the fifth point would be, or let's say the fourth point will be, can does it allow you to modify a element value? For example, here it is four. I would like to replace that with some other number, let's say 99 or 100. Can I do it? This is one of the property of a collection. And the other fifth property is, does it allow you to change the order? For example, five is here. I want the five to be here in the index number zero. Can I replace the order? Okay. These are the five different properties based on which we will remember what are the differences or what are the differences between this three data type. So let's start with the very first one. Does it allow you to have duplicate values? So what I would do, I will put a comma and add some five, five, five to all of it. What I'm doing, I'm adding some five, five to all of this different collections list tuple I have added and the my set I have added. Now, if you execute this to execute and see the output, I will use a print command 
and I will say my list first then I will say my tuple and then I will say my uh, set so these are the three different data types I have mentioned so now if I print it now tell me what is the difference so in duplicate values when it comes to duplicate values list will allow you to have duplicate values so I will say yes it allows the duplicate values yes to duplicate values now tuple will also allow you to have duplicate values so I will say yes right then set set won't allow you to have duplicate values the one in the curly braces you see I have typed 5 but it doesn't allow me to have duplicate values remember so that is first difference so a set doesn't allow to have duplicate value so for duplicate value these are the answers clear now let's focus on the add can I add a new value to list yes I can add so how, how do you really add for example if I say my list dot append dot insert right there are different options that I have dot insert right with that I can add a value let's say I want to add 100 okay so I'm going to remove the duplicates okay from all of it let's focus on our subject of adding a value so I'll remove the duplicates okay all look same now I am working on the list in the list what I'm doing my list dot insert 100 and I can mention where I would like to insert that let's say I would like to insert it at uh, the position number 4 let's say 4 comma so I can do that now if I run it you will see for the list output right for the list output what happened the 100 has been added to the index number 4 0 1 2 3 4 so addition is possible in list adding a new value can you add a new value in tuple so no because these are all fixed values once created in a tuple it's done so if you say my tuple dot add so you don't have a proper uh, you know if you say add let me try it add and let me add a value let's say 12 now if you run this it will throw you an error stating the tuple doesn't have an attribute add so you can't really you add anything in a tuple is a fixed size just that it allows you to have duplicate values but it doesn't allow you to add a value to it getting it you cannot add a value to a tuple now let's look at a set in a set can I add values is it possible for me to add values so let's see that all you do take the variable dot if you type add yes there's an option to add value so let's say it doesn't allow duplicate but I can add value so let's say I'm going to add value 100 and if you run this the difference that you fi find the 100 has been added let's say I'm going to add 98 it you you cannot make sure that the value will always be added at the end okay for example 98 I'm trying to add so 90 got added at the end so you can't control it it can add the value anywhere it likes for example 5 uh, 5 was already there so it did not allow the duplicate value for example uh, let's say 8 okay let me try okay so now it is appearing like it is always adding at the end let me do little modification okay let's say I'm typing 8 um, let's say sorry 7 comma 19 comma 12 uh, something you know, I'm trying some random numbers now now look at it what I'm trying to say it will add a value but you can't control where it got added see this time it has added in the second position right right so you can't control where it's going to add the value okay for example if I write 98 99 so this is very important thing that one should know that the moment you are trying to add a value in uh, in a set it can add anywhere it likes okay so 99 if I run it see 99 got added at the beginning so yes so addition is possible right addition in a set is possible yes you can add but you can't decide the order where it will be added right here you can decide the order you can decide the order where it you want to add you want to add at the end then you can use the append so this is possible in the list but in set it is not possible it, you can add it but you can't decide where to add it this is one of the important difference okay okay this one we have understood let let me put a comma so two different properties we have explored and we have understood the differences between them okay you can't add so here you can add you can't have duplicates but you can add 
but can't but cannot decide order right but cannot decide order so these three things are very clear okay so uh, just for confusing uh, okay this is fine right now let's look at remove can i remove a value from a list if i say my list dot remove so yes you can remove a value for example i want to remove 5 okay can you remove a value from a tuple if i say my tuple dot the variable name so is there a way to remove it no you can't remove you cannot add you cannot even remove so the answer is no to this so the answer is no to yes to this right in a list we can add but in a tuple we can't okay can i um, um okay so remove i will show you it will throw an error and for set okay for set can i remove yes you can remove remove is highly possible in a set so for example if i want to remove 25 from the above set right i would like to remove 25 now let's print and see the output so what happened for the tuple it has given the error i told you the tuple it has given the error okay so let me remove this code line code which is giving error let me execute so what happened 1 2 3 4 5 so uh, uh, for list i have not done it okay for tuple uh, look at this for set for set what happened i would like to remove 25 so it has re removed 25 7 19 56 it has kept but again the typing is in a different order see 7 was at the beginning but it has so you cannot decide the order one of, one of the important point for the set is you cannot decide the order it can order it can put it in any order because in a set indexing is not done okay so all these three points we have verified now now let's look at modify okay can you modify a element is it possible to modify an element so let me tell you to to modify an element in a list it is possible okay how can i modify for example if i say my list okay and in square bracket if i say uh, index number uh, let's say 3 okay index number 3 you modify that value which is there in index number 3 which is 4 here right modify you know up, update that value with uh, let's say 80 now if you print this you will see the value has been 4 has been replaced with 80 so it is highly possible to modify the existing value in a list so list is very flexible okay list is very very flexible but is it possible you cannot add you cannot remove do you think you can modify no modification is also not possible in tuple you cannot a value cannot be changed okay you cannot change uh, even you cannot getting it you cannot modify a value in tuple it, it's not uh, possible only thing it allows it, it it allows you to have duplicate values but it doesn't allow you to add a new value to it remove a value to it or modify a value from it okay once created is done tuple is very restricted okay now here does it allow you to modify uh, um, a element value in tuple uh, sorry in set no the answer is no it doesn't you cannot change elements but you can add and remove values but you cannot change an existing element there is no option for example you type my set okay my set uh, let's say i want to because you can because a set doesn't have index number let's say i am mentioning 3 right that is uh, 0 1 2 3 56 should be replaced with 99 see it will immediately throw me an error what is the error uh, set object does not support item assignment so you cannot assign or modify a value to a specific you cannot modify it okay modification is not possible so all these things we have understood now let's look at the last property changing order changing order means for example if i say my list variable uh, if i say short so if i say short what would happen what is the output 1 2 3 4 5 will become 5 4 3 2 1 now um, short reverse i will say okay reverse equals to 1 if i say this what would happen the entire value which was there like this has been modified to 5 4 3 2 1 okay the same thing is not possible for tuple no you cannot change the order order cannot be changed tuples values are kept in order and cannot be changed cannot change add remove items from tuple so no 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 for everything apart from duplicate values now uh, in a set can i change order 
because a set every time you print it can print in a different different style see 56 has come in the beginning next time when you print it could be a different order right it could print in any order you you can't control that for a tuple you can't really control it okay so if well, let's say i'm going to add a value 99 comma so it can automatically it can print in any order you don't have a control so answer for this one in a tuple order is automatic you can't decide so because it's automatic it's very very fast to access collection data from a tuple because the processor will not think which one to pick so it is very fastest way when you define something in a tuple and doesn't matter the order doesn't matter then this becomes the fastest way the next fastest way would be become sorry set is the fastest way and tuple is the second fast or you can say faster okay least faster is this one this is slower okay slower faster and this is fastest okay this is the list it will definitely take a lot of processing time because uh, you know a lot of things can be done with this set takes very very less time because uh, any order it doesn't matter for the system if there's a duplicate it doesn't print so it is with the fastest way of accessing a collection data this is the second fastest one the slower one is the this one list okay so i hope with this example you must have got a lot of clarity around list tuple set and you should not forget uh, the difference is what I've taught in this video. So thank you guys for this video. We are going to meet once again in the next video. So please do stay connected. Practice this several times so that all these things I taught will be pretty clear. Okay. When you look at this, it is confusing. But when you practice, it will be pretty, pretty clear. Okay. And make a note in a notebook. This will be pretty clear to you. So thank you guys for watching this video. We are going to meet once again in the next video. Guys, please do subscribe to my channel, Automate with Rakesh. And please do hit on the notification icons uh, icon so that any video i upload you will be able to view that in a faster way thank you guys take care we are going to meet once again in our next video bye bye